Hello, my name is Kerry Anderson, and this photograph is entitled Eyes on You. This photograph was captured early this year in January at the DeSoto National Wildlife Refuge. I've been there before, but with fairly dismal results. This time we got very lucky, and on the way to the blind at DeSoto, this fellow was on the road, uh, above the road, uh, looking down. We stopped and he was very photogenic and gracious and posed, but he did always keep his eyes on me. And this photograph is entitled Los Hills Barn. Last fall on a photographic outing, uh, was lucky to run into this. It is uh, south of Moorhead on the way to Los Hills uh, State Forest. And the composition was already laid out for the photographer. And it's uh, a nice image of rural Iowa in the Los Hills. Hard not to wonder at the easy way the memories just come and go. Hi, my name is Bob Gillespie and the title of my photo is Bay of Pigs, Cuba. Uh, this picture was taken obviously in Cuba and uh, for those of you that don't remember 1961, there was a U.S.-backed rebel force that landed in the Bay of Pigs, and they were all killed or captured, and uh, Fidel Castro stayed in power. So the thing that struck me about this when I was there was the fact that the, it was very peaceful. Uh, hard to believe that a lot of blood was shed on this beach but uh, now it's, uh, it's a nice, beautiful beach and, and uh, warm, inviting picture for this time of year. Hello, Michael Greiner here. I'm a lifelong Sioux City resident, or Siouxland resident, I should say, because this photograph called Fledge it was taken off of my deck at home and I live in South Dakota and there's a nice story that goes along with this these birds left just hours after I took this picture but it all started nine years ago when my lovely wife Annie gave me a wood duck box to hang in the greenway behind us and it never attracted any ducks and a storm the first year knocked it down so I put it back together hung it alongside my house eight years later last March I could hear a screech owl softly in the area and it turned out that I was lucky enough to have this take place I was sitting in my back porch behind a camouflage blind when they came out and I just learned hours before this that there was four in the nest. I didn't even know that. Then as I was taking pictures filming this, the adults came in out of view and softly called these birds out and by dark they had all left the nest and I've only caught a glimpse of them since. So hopefully this year again there'll be some activity at the next, next nest box but it's a little bit early to know yet. But I was very lucky to have all four of them and get their way out of the hole at the same time. So quite a unique experience. Hello, Michael Greiner here. 
I'm a lifelong Siouxland resident, and my photograph here is of a mandarin duck. It seems rather strange here, but it's a, it's a Eurasian duck, really, that showed up through the birding community. It was actually at a pond at Yankton, South Dakota. So a buddy of mine and I ran up there to photograph. It's considered to be the most beautiful bird in the world. And he was hanging around with an American wood duck, Drake, who is considered to be the most beautiful bird in the United States. So it was very unusual. So we lucked out, it was still there. This was in November of 2020. And I think he has since left the area, but uh, there he is. He was very cooperative, semi-tame. Lots of thousands of people photographed this lovely creature, but, and this is mine. I just had to do it, being a bird photographer. I'm Carl Hardy with the Sioux City Camera Club, and the photograph that I have for the exhibit today is Cello Man in Old Market, and it was taken in Omaha, Nebraska at the Old Market. And the reason I took this photograph is I've always enjoyed going down to the Old Market in Omaha and looking at the artists that are performing down there, their music or their art. And so in this case, I was down at the market several years ago in uh, Sioux, Omaha, and I actually saw a gentleman that there that was playing the cello. And I, it was really remarkable. He was very good, of course. And he was playing it for the patrons that were in the old market area. And then I also took a lot of photographs that day of artists painting. And there were several artists that, that I took uh, that were painting down there. There was another gentleman down there that was playing blues music. So there was a lot of different activity down there at the time. I took photographs of all of these people and I have entered them in many times in contests and done real well with the, the photographs. And I just enjoy talking to these people also, actually getting to know them a little bit, finding out what their, you know, a little bit of their background, why they're there, what they tr try to do with their music and so forth. So this particular photograph uh, of this cello man, I and white. I do have a color version of it, but I really enjoyed the, the, the way he was, you know, the way he did his playing and so forth. So that was kind of the inspiration behind by, uh, this photograph. Hi, I'm Barbara Ann Hukalak, and today I have my photo, it's called Arrival. And this photo was taken in Rome. Uh, I lead cultural tours around the world, so I have the opportunity to take photos of beautiful scenery, but I also prefer to take photos of people in their everyday life. <clears throat> and this is a lady who's the returning from wherever, shopping, work, and she's trying to get into her apartment in a little square inside Rome. I'm Mitch Keller, I'm Vice President of the Sioux City Camera Club and a Mathematics Professor at Morningside College. And this is my photograph, uh, Train Street, uh, Hanoi. Uh, it was shot in Hanoi, Vietnam. Uh, you can see here we have railroad tracks leading into the image uh, as a strong leading line shot um, just before sunrise. So we get this nice deep blue in the sky. Uh, we actually have there are people who live right along this set of railroad tracks. So you see the front doors of many homes that open onto the tracks. There's actually a little cafe uh, out here because tourists come and, and check it out. And uh, a couple of minutes after I shot this photograph, I had to retreat with my tripod up against the wall because a train was coming by. I could have reached out and touched it if I had been so daring, but I decided not to try.
My name is Ron Nichols. Uh, I took this f picture probably 30 years ago on two and a quarter slide film and I recently scanned the uh, slide and that's the advantage of digital. You can take an old picture and scan it, make a digital file and enhance it with the new technology today. I made a triptych of it and uh, put it on a digital mat. I titled this uh, photograph Ebb and Flow. I took it on the coast of Oregon. I used a slow enough shutter speed to get motion in the waves as it came in and out. Hello, I'm Tom Shaning, President, Sioux City Camera Club, and here is my exhibit the photograph that's going to be on display at the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center. I call this photograph Remembrance at Freedom Park. As you can see it's a photograph taken at Freedom Park in South Sioux City, but I had my model put on a World War II Army Air Corps uniform and he has a canvas satchel and a funny flap hat all reminiscent of that era, and he's actually holding a photograph of his father in his father's World War I, or World War II uniform. So that's why it's kind of remembrance at a location for remembering the military service. Hello, my name's Kevin Smith. I'm from a small town east of Sioux City called Cushing. Um, I love uh, nature photography and landscape mostly. Uh, the picture I took was uh, at Little Sioux Park in Cretchenville of some monarch butterflies. Uh, one thing people don't realize about monarch butterflies is that their numbers are, are going way down. They're down 99% from what they were. and. Uh, they're trying to get them put on the endangered species list. Anyway, I love nature and that's the reason for the photograph. My name is Mike Walsh. I'm a member of the Sioux City Camera Club and uh, we're preparing for an exhibit here at the Lewis and Clark uh, building and we hope that um, everybody comes to watch, see our photographs. Uh, the uh, particular photograph that I have uh, next to me is one that I took in Ireland and uh, when I took the picture it was uh, in a flower garden uh, surrounding a, uh, a cottage type building uh, where we stayed in Ireland and uh, I noticed these particular flowers I thought they were mums and so I took a picture of them and, uh, and uh, then ultimately uh, printed the picture when I got home. And uh, I thought I'd better ask somebody about the, photo about the uh, flowers because I wasn't quite sure if they were mums or not. So I asked uh, our resident uh, master gardener Rex Towns and uh, he helped me out by inquiring with the uh, uh, state of Iowa and determine that they're not mums. They are called English daisies. And uh, English daisies are very popular in Europe and uh, England and Ireland. And, uh, the, uh, and I thought not only were they uh, a beautiful flower, but this, in this particular photograph, uh, they're one on top of the other and they seem to stand out and uh, pop out of the picture, so to speak, uh, which uh, photographers always like to see. And so uh, I selected this uh, picture for the exhibit uh, in hopes that people, who, especially people who like flowers, would enjoy this uh, photograph.
Good morning. Um, my name is Randall Williams. Uh, this is my entry for the Sioux City Camera Club exhibit that is coming up here at the Betty Strong Encounter Center. Uh, this is a uh, black and white uh, photograph um, I refer to as uh, conduits. Um, the photo was taken at the Mid-America Transportation Museum about three years ago. A friend and I went down to the museum just to kind of get out of the house and do a few things. This is a photo of one of the displays down there, one of the uh, engines, airplane engines that is on display. Uh, I shot the photo with my smartphone, uh, processed it through Lightroom, and then uh, submitted the work originally to the Briarcliff Review, and it was uh, accepted by the Briarcliff Review a few years ago. Um, I've been taking pictures since probably about 1972. Um, really didn't improve too much until I joined Sioux City Camera Club in 1985. Since then I've participated in local as well as regional competitions as well as shows that uh, Camera Club has put together. Probably the most outside work I've done has been related to Briarcliff Review and I've been honored to have several images accepted by the Briarcliff Review over the last few years. Um, I just retired from uh, Mercy One uh, here in Sioux City uh, after 39 years in the blood bank area of our clinical laboratory. Uh, hope to do a little bit more photography here in the uh, time to come. Thank you. All shiny gray, something about you. Hi, my name is Rich Wright, and uh, my picture is Out of the Past. It's, uh, it's a uh, black and white picture of a Model T Ford that uh, belongs to a neighbor of mine uh, by the name of Denny Smith. Uh, the technique I used for this was uh, called HDR, in which I took several pictures at different exposures and then blended them together so that I didn't have areas that were blown out by being too bright or, or it could bring up the ones that were too dark.